All right, so it's time to do some upgrades on some of the puppets. Uh, when I originally started the Vancouver Pups, I decided that I wanted to basically have the characters constantly evolving over time, if I can, to be improving them and making them better. And we've been using the same set of puppets now for a while, so I thought it would be a good opportunity now, since it's been a while since the starting of the channel, to start working on some of these upgrades. Why not? And the most obvious one to start with is, of course, uh, Oko, our star. And uh, this is the first puppet. This is Oko 1. This is the first puppet that uh, I created of him. He's the original one, and he's the hand puppet. And he's been very suitable for a very long time. And one of the things, though, I always wanted to try and get better was the eyes. Of course, we already had one workshop on working on the eyes, and that's sort of where we've been now. And his eyelids can move open and close a little bit, but only both at the same time. So I'm going to be working on a new design that I've um, worked up by a little blueprint of I'll show you and see if we can start to get these eyes to move a little bit better and yeah just get a little more expression out of the face with some with a better eye mechanism so we're we'll working on eyes hoping we can get them moving a little bit and I've already got uh, a whole bunch of uh, I got a new head here to work on so I made up this new one a brand new one that we can do whatever we want to so I'm going to first work on a prototype out of a blueprint that I've mocked up here. I have a little blueprint. We'll take a closer look at that. And I have all the parts here in order to do a little mock-up of the prototype and just see if that'll work. So that's going to be the first step. So let's take a look at the puppet. All right, so here is, I'll kind of see if I can get this close to the camera enough so you can see it. Sorry, I'm using my cell phone to film this. It's a little awkward, but there's sort of the design. I know it kind of looks funny, but basically the eye here, the lens, instead now of having one wire going, I had one wire going from one eye through into the inside of the head of the puppet and then up the other way to the other eye. And that's what I was trying to move in order to get the eyelids to move. But now what I'm gonna do is try and do each of them individually. So this one's gonna have a little like uh, lens over the eye that's gonna come underneath the eye and then there's gonna be a little piece that I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to move with my finger. So we're gonna make a little pivot at the base of the nut of the eye. Here's one of the eyes that I use. This is basically gonna put a little pivot here so that the wire can kind of go over it like this. So that's the plan. We'll see if it works. I've got most of the parts I need here in order to do it. I've got a couple small wires. I have a ring. I have some duct tape to work with. Another thing I'm gonna to have to do though is redesign the eyelid. The eyelid itself is gonna be kept the same, this length, because I find that's the best length to go over the eye. But one of the reasons I'm having trouble getting the eye to close is because the eyelid is too small. I need to redesign this eyelid to make it bigger so that it's able to fully close without being pulled tight. Anyway, that'll be a, the next step. The first thing I want to do, though, is just make sure that this iMac is going to work. All right, so here's some foam I'm going to use, and yeah. All right, well, well, where should we start? The first thing I need to do, I think, is I'm going to... This is a heavier wire. This is the heavier of the two kinds of wire I'm gonna be using. Try to make this go more parallel as much as I can. All right, that might be, that might be good enough. Now, another thing I need to do is measure. It doesn't need to be very long. I was just measuring. I can almost, I can basically touch the inside foam of the head with the two fingers. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is using these two fingers in the head for the mouth plate, and I want to use these two fingers for the eyes. That's the plan. I don't know. We'll see. So... 
Another thing I'm going to need, though, I guess I'll make this about the length of the loop here. Maybe, yeah. A little something like that. So it's a little longer, just by a little bit, by about half a centimeter or so. All right. And then I'm thinking, I need a little loop here. It's kind of hard to see on the die on the blueprint I made, but I'm gonna need a little tiny loop. So I have a very thin wire here. What I'm, let me see, how am I gonna do this? I need it to be basically like two loops together. Go around these pliers like this. And so that's I'm going to take off this washer and bolt. You want something like that. Let me think here. And then we need it to have an additional loop. Go like this. And I'll just probably use the rest of the wire there. That's sort of what I wanted. It was sort of like two loops together. Now I think maybe I'll just try using a little tape just to reinforce it. If I can, let's see, here's some All right, so now what I want to do is, we need a hole in this, of course. Let's just put a hole right in the middle of the foam. All right, now, this needs to go through the loop here, like this. And then through the washer. And then, Okay, that's, hold on, before we go much further, I need to know the next part, which is gonna be, we're gonna bend this part up over here. Let's see, how wide are these eyes again? I think they're 44 centimeters, which is basically like about an inch and a half. Uh-huh, an inch and a half. So let's see. About that, yeah, about there. So let's see, let's go like that. And go like that. Okay, we're doing good here. So now what we're gonna do is, we're also gonna need to mark some holes on each side of this. Mm -hmm. 
I'm actually going to move this over a little bit. Just put some temporary holes. Okay. So now I'm going to push this up here like that. All right, here we go. Then this is going to go into here. I think I'm going to need to open this a bit more. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. Let's just finish this off. So what do I need? I need this to go through here. Yes. And the washer. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. This goes like this, and this goes like this. I think that was what I wanted to do. I don't think this is going to give us quite the effect we were looking for, but let's just see here. I'm going to tighten this up. So basically now I have the eye coming through and being secured with the bolt. And it's also holding that loop, which is holding the eye part. And that's the eye part. Okay, that's not too bad. This is the part that I wanted rooted so that it would stay sort of in one place. And it kind of looks like it is sort of working. Basically, this now is what I want to move back and forth for the eye. Um, this ring I have here for my finger, because what I wanted to put my finger through. So maybe I'll attach that now if I can. How am I going to do that? Well, I'll use this tape for now. Um, don't, is that the best way to do that? I want it sort of like this. Okay. Temporary, so there we go. So now this though needs to be trimmed So there we go. So there's my prototype for my f new design. Basically my hand will be on the inside and on the mouth plate and I want to be able to move the eyelid with my finger. I might need a smaller ring or something, I don't know. And then this will have to be manipulated a little bit the eyelid will basically go through here. I guess we can kind of do it. Let's just see if I can get this on. Could be tough. If we're gonna have to make sure the ends of these wires are sanded or covered before I try and do this again.
All right, guys. So, I mean, it's just, it's crude. This is not fitting completely perfect, but that's fine. It's just a prototype. These wires, it's fine. So basically, I'm hoping to do this, and it'll be one in each, so that this, my hand, these two fingers will be on the plate. This should be through one of these rings, and then my pinky will be through the other one, and I'm hoping that I'll get a little more fluid movement with the eyelids by doing this, and I think I'm going to. It's looking pretty good. So I'm kind of happy with that. So there's the prototype. So what I'm gonna do now is duplicate all of these tools, make them, refine them, make them a little better, like the loop thing, make that a little better. Maybe look for a smaller ring. I need a smaller ring for this for my finger would be good. And then I'm gonna implement those two on the new head that we have here. So, all right, let's see if we can make this work. All right, so I've been working get a hopefully you can get a good decent look at these uh, but yeah I basically made two of the eye pieces I labeled where on the head to put the eyes so there we are these are get a better look at what these eyes look like I hand make these with glass eyes clay and then screws and here's the bolts that go on the back of the screws and then here's the two eyepieces I've made back now. Basically what I did was, I got the smaller O-rings here now that fit nicely on the finger. So on the pinky and the four fingers where it's gonna fit. So that should be good. And I attached it with a twist tie and then just put a little black duct tape to hold it in place at the very end. And then up here I attached this is the washer that the eye screw will go through. So it'll basically go through like that. This is sort of how it's gonna work. But by holding the washer here in the back, we can make sure that the eyelid, the edges of the eyelid are sort of just before the eye. Yeah, that should be good. And we got made two of them and they're just held with the, wa the washer held with the twist tie up here at the top of the eye part. This is gonna have to be trimmed afterwards, but yeah, these two will basically poke through the inside through the back. And that's it. I think we're ready to sort of fit this now into the eye. I marked here where I want the eyes to be and I guess it's sort of marked on the inside. So I'm, what I'm gonna do now is I'll put this all together basically. I'm gonna All right, well we got the first one in. So there it is. There's me moving it from the inside, the eyelid. The incomplete eyelid, but at least it's over the eye, so that's good. Yeah. All right, let's do the other one. All right, so there we go, so we did it. So yeah, these wires are obviously gonna be trimmed eventually, but they are installed. So now, let's see, I can put my hand in here and we should be able to manipulate these. Might take some practice. I'm having, having a little trouble getting my fingers in the loops tricky part here okay there we go now my pinky I might need to design a way to make it stay in one place so I can slip my finger in but there we go so I got my fingers in the uh, the rings sort of there's the pinky that was going pretty well we're gonna take some It'll take some work to get the, the uh, muscles working right and stuff, and we'll see. You can see I can move the eyes independently, which is nice, or I can move them at the same time. But, uh, oh, God, my, it's tricky. It's 
still not 100% sold on these eyes. See, these eyes are a little different than the usual ones that I have. They're a little like, the center part is down further. I thought I would try these because I just found them online. I don't know if I like them though. They're the right color and everything. Oko has blue eyes, but I don't know. We'll see. But I'll, what I'll do is I'll get a little picture on the inside here to see if we can show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the inside. This is, let's see if I can get in here and show you what it looks like. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. How am I gonna do this? Uh, hold on. I think if I kind of just hold it up like this. There, you can kind of see them screwed in. They're being held in place, the wires and the little loops there that I can put my fingers in. That's the inside of the head of Oko. Let's see if I can actually get this right on in. Oh yeah, you can. So there we go. You can get a much better look at it here. Here's the inside of the foam head. So that's it. The, the mouth plate I'll hold with my middle fingers and then I'm gonna use these to try and move these eyelids a little bit better. But I gotta redesign the eyelids though now because this is the original one and it's too small, like I said. So I'm gonna have to draft something new to cover the eye here so that it goes, a, it's a little more full in the back. All right, so here I attached one of his eyes to a piece of foam and I just have it resting now here on these blocks. Uh, so we can draft a new pattern for this eye. Basically, we want the pattern. So I want it to have the same eyelid. So we know the. It'll basically be sort of like this, and then just add another little bit in the back here. This was the eyelid that I pulled out of the original pattern. This was the eyelid pattern that I made. With the, there's a dart there and this piece of cardboard I used in order to draw the dart line, you see? So it goes stitch there. And then that's what gives us this. This is the eyelid, but yeah, anyway, this has to be changed. So I have a piece of scrap fabric here, some muslin, so I'm going to I think what I'll do is start by cutting the muslin piece. So that's the same width now. This should be a big enough piece to make the pattern, I hope. Oh yeah, this is more than enough. So this goes all the way around. This is way too big. Let's see, let's try putting this here. I think it's going to need, yeah, I think it's going to need a dart on the side. Let's see, I'm thinking more like this here. I'm going to pin this. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm pinning this, and then I want to see how I can I guess ultimately this is gonna be sort of like okay. Let me see here. Let's keep pinning here because I can kind of slowly see a shape emerging here that I'm happy with. So I'm just drawing some lines about where I might want to put some some darts. You can kind of see here. Hmm. All right, I want to see what that looks like. Aha. So there's sort of a dart that kind of goes like this, it looks like to me. And then this is the front, and this is the back. And that should be the same length. Yeah, okay, so interesting. So I would ultimately want to have that the same on the back as well. Or pardon me, on the other side. So let's see. I'm going to roughly put some pins into the fabric here to see if this dart is looking pretty decent. All right, well, I think that's gonna be actually pretty good. So I'm gonna use this then as my pattern. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but what I'm gonna do is cut this. I'm gonna draft this onto paper, first of all, and uh, tidy up this dart line and duplicate it on this side. And then I'm going to cut out a piece of fabric and sew those darts in to give it the dome shape and then I'm going to attach the brown eyelid to the front, which is basically a loop of felt. So I'll just get two of those eyes ready. 
and then we'll try them out and see how they look on the puppet. All right, so I'm ready to move on now to the next step of the of the eyelid. So here was the original pattern that I did, but I decided to make it a little bit bigger because when I was doing some tests on the eye, it didn't look much bigger than the original eye socket. Um, and I noticed that when it was closed, there was still a gap. So it needs to be made bigger. So what I did was I just split it, split the pattern and opened it. And then I added an inch and then curved the top part. But I kept the same side dart so that we could bring it in the same amount. So I was still able to use my little tracer that I made with my cardboard from the last pattern to do the darts. But yeah, this is basically the eyelid that I ended up with. And this is it here. It's a little bit bigger than the last. It fits a lot better. So now this will completely cover like it's like a cup shape. It's like a nice round cup shape now. It's like a semicircle or semi-sphere. And now the eye should be able to fully close, no problem, the wire mechanism. And now the only resistance will be against the fabric, against the eyelid opening. Anyway, the next step is, I've already started it, but the next step is going to be to put these eyelids now on the IMAX and then start bending them over. All right, so there it is. So this is sort of uh, the first prototype of this new eye design, and it's sort of working. There's things I like about it and things I don't. Here's the here's here's the eyes, and you can see they're they're moving independently. What I need to redo is you know the little keyhole, the little O rings that I attach to the end just kind of slip my fingers through. They sort of work, but sort of not really. What would be better, I think, is going to be to maybe have some sort of like little sleeve attached that maybe a, like a little strip of leather, something that I can just slip my fingers into. I think that might work better because these rings, I'm kind of chasing them around a little bit. But there's varying degrees here. Yeah, and I might need, I don't know. Anyway, I think what we're gonna do is just use this head maybe for certain close-ups and stuff when I'm uh, filming to get some different expressions. So I'm still not 100% ready to commit this new design to the official puppet, um, you know, Oko 1. But we're getting there. I'm, I'm kind of happy with this new design. I'm going to work on this a little bit. I need to exercise the muscles in my fingers a little bit to work in coordination with uh, the mouth. But yeah, I think it looks kind of cute. You know, Let's see here. So that's about as close as I can make the eyes. I can probably bend the wires a bit so they close a little bit more, but Eyes open. Anyway, now I can wink, you know, sort of. <laughs> that one's a little stronger because that finger's a little stronger. And we can kind of have like a googly eyed look, like. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. So I'm kind of happy with that. That was a fun little project. And, uh, I think I'm gonna uh, tweak this a little bit and yeah, we might end up coming back to the IMEX a third time sometime. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> um, 
yeah, but anyway, uh, we're gonna continue practicing our craft and just keep working on this. And I actually have another workshop uh, video coming up very uh, quickly after this one uh, on another project that I wanted to start working on with Oko, okay? So we'll see you guys in the next workshop, okay? Thank you all very much for watching. I'm Brandon from the Vancouver Pups. Thanks for watching, have a good day.